Hello, I'm John Kneebone and welcome to Mainline Baits Carp Fishing TV and another how-to video, your step-by-step -step guide to different rigs and presentations, all designed to help you catch more fish. And today we're looking at a rig that certainly caught a lot of fish, and that is the ever-popular spinner rig. And we'll be announcing the winner of our bait making giveaway, so stay tuned to the end of the video to find out who won. Right, let's get started. The great thing about the spinner rig is it's quite versatile when it comes to your choice of hook. A crank hook, a curve shank hook, even large size four hooks are all suitable for the spinner rig. But today we're going to use one of my own personal preferences and that's a size 6 wide gape hook. A couple key components to the spinner rig is the spinner swivel as well as a kicker which both make building the rig a lot easier to do. For attaching the hook bait and giving that hook bait a lot more freedom of movement we're going to use a micro ring swivel. To place that micro swivel and obviously our hook bait in the perfect position on the hook shank we're going to use a small hook bead. To form the boom section of the rig we're going to use the aptly named boom material. It's a stiff nylon material that's going to push the rig away from the terminal tackle nicely. To join the 25 pound breaking strain boom material to the other components in the rig, we're going to use the crimps and crimping tool in the size small crimp size. To help tidy the attachment of the rig to the terminal tackle, as well as push it away, we're going to use an anti-tangle sleeve. I've got a couple pulley tools to help stretch out any memory in the boom section. To help balance our buoyant hook bait we're going to use a little bit of putty and to attach our hook bait we're going to use a little bit of bait floss. To thread on our hook bait we're going to use a standard boily baiting needle and for the hook bait we're firstly going to tie this rig with a pop-up but the rig isn't just limited to pop-ups so we're also going to show you how this rig works with a wafter as well. And finally we've got a lighter to blob down and secure the bait floss as well as some scissors to trim things up. Okay, let's put this rig together. The first thing that we're going to do is attach the hook eye to the spinner swivel, like so. Next, we're going to take one of the little kickers that we showed you earlier. And it is these little components that are specially made for rigs like this that really make it simple to put together. So we're just going to take that kicker and simply thread it down onto the hook around the bend of the hook. It can be a little bit fiddly sometimes. When you're trying to pull it, it's sort of sliding between your fingers and stuff like that. And there is a chance that you could get that hook in your finger. So I like to take my pliers, grip the hook carefully, being careful not to damage the point. And then it's really easy just to slide that kicker down onto the spinner swivel. It neatens everything up. And there you go, the hook is now attached to the spinner swivel easily and neatly and we're ready to move on to the next step. We're now simply going to continue building the rig. So next we're going to take the micro ring swivel, thread that onto the hook like so. Now we're going to need to take one of our hook beads, simply take your hook point, place it into the center of a hook bead, you'll find a little hole there and just pull away so that you get one hook bead on the hook away from the rest of the pack. Now I just take my thumbnail and I start teasing that hook bead around the bend of the hook. You will find that they're quite tight but that's what we want. We want that bead to hold our hook bait securely in our chosen position. And there we go, it's just around the bend of the hook. That's where I like to position the pop-up as you can see here. Now it's time to put our boom section together and as I said earlier we're using the boom material in the 25 pound breaking strain. This means that when we choose our crimp, we need to use the size small crimp. Right, let's take a bit of the material off of the spool and then take our crimp and just simply thread the material into one side of the crimp. You'll find there's two barrels in each crimp. There we go. Now if you're new to using crimps and the crimp tool, the best piece of advice that I can give you is to just simply take your time. With the crimp threaded onto the boom material, we're now going to just thread that through the ring swivel section of the spinner swivel that we attached to our hook earlier. 
we can now take that tag end and thread it through the other barrel of the crimp like so so there we go just tease it in like i said there's no rush with creating this rig take your time and you'll do it perfectly then we're just going to pull the crimp down tight to the swivel we're not going to leave any loop section there and now we're ready for the next step now we need to compress the crimp and secure it into place this is where it's vitally important that you place the right crimp into the right groove on the crimping tool so we've got the small crimp into the groove that's marked s for small and then i'm just going to squeeze that crimping tool down to compress the crimp and there we go got a really good secure strong join there between the spinner swivel and the boom section just trim away the tag end okay that's one end of the boom section complete now let's move on to the other pull away seven to eight inches of the boom material and cut away from the spool then take an anti-tangle sleeve and thread this onto the boom section now you'll find it much easier than trying to get it on once we've attached our second crimp and loop so there we go just thread it down onto the hook link like so and now we take a second crimp take the tag end of the boom place that into one side of the crimp and i will reiterate here we are using the size small crimp because we're using the 25 pound boom then take your tag end run that through the other side of the crimp so that we create a nice neat loop that's going to be quick and easy for attaching our rig to the rest of the terminal tackle there you go you can see that loop there so all we need to do now is compress that crimp to secure the loop in place so take the crimp and again be really careful here just take your time we're using a small crimp so we're just going to place that inside the groove on the crimping tool that's marked s for small and once we're happy that that crimp is all lined up nicely within the tool just like we did before just going to squeeze that down compress the crimp securing it into place and leaving us with a perfectly formed loop in a material that's so stiff would have been really difficult to tie a knot in with the crimp now securely in position we just take our scissors and trim off the tag end just to finish off this loop end of our boom section now we can take the anti-tangle sleeve that we slid onto the material earlier and just slide that up over the boom giving us a nice neat loop at one end of the boom section ready to attach to our terminal tackle now the boom section is a very stiff material and we may have put some kinks into it as we've been creating our loops and crimping and so on so what i'm going to do now is just use the two pulley tools attach them to either end of the boom section and give it a pull under tension to remove any kinks that could possibly be within that boom section and as you can see it's lovely and straight now it's going to push our rig out perfectly and give us a fantastic presentation next we need to take our little tin of putty and just pull away a little piece and we're going to use this putty to help negate the buoyancy of our hook bait because the first hook bait that we're going to show you with this rig is going to be a pop-up now the rig is already quite heavy due to the components such as the spinner swivel but this will just help us fine tune the presentation of the rig in the edge just before we cast out i'm just going to mold that piece of putty around the crimp like i say next to the spinner swivel and that crimp will just help secure that putty into place it won't fall off and there you go we've got a nice neat barrel like piece of putty that's going to help balance our hook bait perfectly now we're ready to attach our hook bait and as we said earlier you can use this presentation with both wafters and as you see here a pop-up so i'm going to take the baiting needle just thread that straight through the center of the pop-up this is one of our new pink pinana limited edition pop-ups and then we're just going to take the bait floss just pull off maybe 10 centimeters about five inches of the floss there trim that away with the scissors simply take one end of that piece of floss thread it through the micro ring swivel that's sliding upon the shank of our hook pull it through so you've got two tag ends of equal length i like to just then wrap them over my index finger it makes it really easy 
to hook the baiting needle onto the floss and push the popper down off the needle onto the floss and then just find the two loose tag ends within the loop and just start teasing them back just so that the result is the pop-up on the floss like so and then to help secure that pop-up into place we're just going to gently pull that down onto the ring swivel itself and there you go our pop-up is securely in position on the micro ring swivel so we can now just grab our scissors again just trim off the excess bait floss that we don't need that now take our lighter being careful not to burn ourselves or any of the other components in the rig we just blob that piece of floss down flatten it off so it can't be pulled back through the pop-up and there you go our spinner rig is complete super easy super tidy and super effective in the water you can see that our pop-up is now presented perfectly with the hook in a claw like position poised and ready to grab hold of any investigating fish the rig also positions the hook bait at a nice height away from the lake bed meaning that it will sit above any debris such as silt chod light weed but is also close enough to the lake bed should you want to use it on a cleaner area as we said earlier the spinner rig is not just for pop-ups so you can see here we've attached one of our essential cell cork dust wafters and the hook the hook bait is positioned perfectly critically balanced and close to the lake bed the perfect presentation for fishing for spooky or wary fish or if you're just simply fishing over clean areas the hook bait is poised and able to react quickly to the investigation of any feeding fish okay now to announce the winner of our bait making giveaway who is Noah Davidson well done Noah we'll be sending out a selection of bait making flavors liquid additives and some Polaris mix as soon as you get in contact with us using our email address found here on YouTube as well as our website thanks for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up hit the notification button so you know when the next video is coming out if you don't yet subscribe to the channel please hit that subscription button below we'd really appreciate it and if you'd like to see more step-by-step -step how to videos I'll leave a link to those here thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video